Yeah, device pulse. Let's see how fast they get in here to see what we're doing. Need to plug this in. on that side of the garage. Yeah, man, well, it's a little bit, I think there might be, but I can't remember. I don't think so. It's buried behind the junk. It might be behind that toolbox. Uh oh, oh, my iPad's been on all night. I thought I turned it off yesterday. It was closed up when I picked it up down there. It was just plugged in. Here, plug that in down there. It's all the cord I got, so hopefully it'll reach. Take long when that's 14 degrees out. It don't take long for it to cool 19 down. now. I just looked. 19. Global warming. Yeah. This is November. Not today. Uh, yeah, go for it. Because um, it usually puffs out a stinky cloud. Okay, I got here this, this time and get here to watch the great work that's done in real time. Yeah, and for that guy saying I lied yesterday, I didn't lie, I just changed my mind. Kind of aggravating. You aren't a female, you aren't allowed. What? You aren't a female, you aren't allowed to change. Yeah, well. I'm going for excellence. I'm not going for speed. But I do need to get this off the airplane. Seven walkers now. Eight. Well, see, I have the magic button. If they get too much to me, I just mute them. <laughs> <laughs> I can turn you off. If only we could do that with the politicians. They're worried about shutting the government down. Hey, go ahead, shut it down. We're better off to be closed. It'll never shut down. It don't matter how much they whine and cry. Whether it'll shut down is these loans and shit to these given shrimp cocaine. Try to see if they have a higher sex drive, and if they don't have cocaine, and that, that's about a waste of money right there. No, oh, I was fixing this. That's right. Fixing this part. Okay. Come on now, where are you? 
$61. The guy said to me, he said, we don't normally let the customer drive the car up onto the rack. You know how to drive a stick? No, then I guess the <laughs> I guess the customer going. <laughs> Facebook was why my car will never be stolen. Yours either. Yep. Yeah. Don't know how to drive them. Unless it's my grandson. Yeah. I need to make that. Well, I need to
positioned myself at the door. I said, I'll drive it up. So we don't allow for customers to drive it up. Can I drive a stick? No. I guess I'm driving it up. Pretty much the answer is the question. $61 for an oil change. That's a joke.
still might do them letters in gold leaf. What are we doing behind the fuselage here? Well, I'm gonna flip it upside down. We're gonna tape off both sides, right? Right. Well, I'll do the same thing to the fuselage on the bottom side. <clears throat> and then whatever we gotta go in between the end to be in. Just throw a towel over that tail. Painting back there. Are you ready to flip? Yeah. yeah one more piece right there. One piece there. Oh, yeah. Oh, one piece there. Mm -hmm. Been a major disaster. At least. So this is a week tape, a week tape job. This thing here keeps lifting up. All right, let's see what they say here. I that when you shoot that red. Okay, dickhead. Still watching the graphics video this morning, so at least I get some live comments in, the, in, in this morning. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we're here live, and Yogi says he hopes it just keep we just keep showing how to do this great work. I don't know about how great it is. But work, yes. <laughs> this and look real close because there's a problem on this tip. Is it something we gotta address right
right at the present time. No, it's paper. It's that open spot in paper. Need about six inches the whole width. I'll take care of that right now. Okay. I think I need to buy me a new pair of shop scissors. Buy two sets of the Westcott for ten bucks at Walmart. I think they were ten bucks the last time I bought them. Two pair. A little shorter than your big big pair, but yeah, still the same quality. So you know, same exact. They look exactly the same. I don't normally get too expensive the things or whatever quality out here because they got a tendency to be used to cut wire, <laughs> <laughs> wire sheet metal. I think you can sharpen them. Yeah, you can sharpen some of them, but I've never been able to get them as sharp as they are original. I got two pairs down there in the basement right now that I've sharpened before, but just I bet you get one of them old guys that comes around in a truck. Remember them guys? Oh, yeah. The saw sharpeners? Oh, yeah. I bet he could sharpen them. We used to go down to this place down in town here it's called Meth Saw Works. We go down there with a 20, 20 circular saw blade. So, yeah, I have them done for you in a couple of days. Drop them off. Now they want you to throw your saw blades away and all that shit. Like why? Take them have them research sharpen their carbide tipped them all on this all these new saw blades. So they're better off to start with. Unless you get them hot and you warp them. Them old guys that used to come around in the truck, and I mean they were old, you know, in their eighties. Oh yeah. Of course, sorry guys, that is old. Uh well, mess saw works. They'll sharpen anything. They'll sharpen your pocket knife. You want that sharpen? Okay, here. I gotta make sure we look at this tip before we might have turned it over. Yeah, let's, let's get a second Even one side at a time. No, what? You don't have any second piece of tape in the center. Pick it up. Double tape, you know. I don't think we did that on the other side. Hmm? I don't think we did that on the other side right there. Yep. Yeah, we did. <clears throat> I mean, if you get it good, it's not a problem, but it usually don't get it good. Can't can't go over the cowl unless you want to paint it sitting where it's at. We gotta get it on the stand.
may be better to paint it on the stand because then we could do both sides at the same time. Yeah. And I did put the block in there so because I figured we'd <laughs> paint it on the stand. Yeah, yeah. For once. That stand height may be good for you, but it ain't for me. Too, too tall, just like my Byron Barker stand. Byron Barker's way taller than that one. Right. I'm going to make mine. That's too short. I'm going to make mine adjustable. I thought about doing that with that one. Make a couple different sizes of pipe and just let them run one bolt through them. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I just looked at the wing, you know, when it's standing vertical. And said, well, I've got about a foot below the tip of the wing, you know, and I said, man, that, that's good. That gives you good clearance. You'll never have to worry about hitting the wing when you turn it around. <clears throat> Leave this off. We don't need it on there. Let's see. A lot of time impatient to get done and want to hurry so it fly it. Yeah, everybody wants to do that, but that's a given. The trick is to have more than one airplane. <laughs> yeah, that's the big trick. Okay. Put that back. Oh, we got to get it on the stand first. Let's pull that box out. Sure is light with no flaps, no cowl, no elevators. No yeah. I'd say it's about 25 ounces. Put that piece of paper back that you took off. You're gonna make a new one. What does it do with it? I don't know. Right here. The shop ate it just like it happens over my place. Pretty much. Where's all the tape rolls? Over there on the box. Without my help, we're getting, or our help, you're getting better. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I had some spam in there for a minute. RCM Tech. Shut the government down, and you don't have to stop doing all your good work. Yeah.
Them guys with the sex sites, yeah, are picking on the wrong crew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Need to get into a younger crowd. <laughs> you may be dirty old men, but, but Paper there needs a piece of paper here. On this right. Side. Yeah, before we even start peeling the paper up, I want to get the heat gun and start heating it because I don't want to chance any more of that shit that happened to me yesterday. the horn or on Jump back here and find a pit <laughs>
Painting is not the issue, it's taping. Don't I need to get my ultrasonic cleaner back so I can clean my fans. Forget that today. Yep, I think that's. So you It works pretty good to get a towel and lay a towel down and lay this stuff out on the towel. And also sort of de-stickies the tape a little bit.
sunlight, but <laughs> well, it'll be under the elevator. We got one here too. I'm just saying. I'm working in that apartment with that crappy light. I can't see it. One more time firing that heater up before we start painting.
over. That don't matter. Yeah, fan slap forward. All for a piece of tape. That'll be alright. It'll be fine. <coughs> you know, now that I didn't make it piped, I didn't need to drop them lead ups. I mean, I don't think it'll hurt, but you, know, you dropped them a quarter inch. Yep. Yeah. I dropped them an eighth. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. You gotta watch rubbing too hard or you'll rub a dent. Oh, I didn't finish that. Mm -hmm. That would've hurt. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe not, because it's... Well, yeah, it would, because it's white. Would've hurt big time. At this stage of the game, speed is not, you know, don't worry about being fast, worry about being accurate because it don't matter how hard and how slow and all that that you work, you're still going to get, there's still yellow back here, you're going to have to touch up the blank. Yep. Also a little scratch. Don't turn it over. I'm hey! What you got going on? You're still taking that. Okay, right. Turn it back. It'll be all right. She was done. You walked away from it. Well, I had to get a knife. That would have been a disaster if we just started painting without covering that. I've done it before. I have too. Ain't no fun. Ain't no fun. I have made every mistake you can make. Well, no. There's probably some more I ain't made yet, I'm but, sorry, I, yeah, but, but I'll yeah. get to it. <laughs> I put the lead out weight box in the top of the wing. I haven't done that yet. But I did cut the stab in the wrong side of the fuse. I did too. I made a four inch mistake back here. Put it back four inches further than what it should have been. Yeah. You cut it on the bottom instead of on the top. Yeah. <laughs> I can remember when you did that one. That was a bit too long ago. <laughs> But I saved it with no problem. Yeah, you get just get to looking at it backwards, you know. And it's very easy, especially if you build your wing upside down on a table or something. 
Put your belt crank in backwards. <laughs> Never done that either. I haven't done that one yet, but it's very easy to do. Then you gotta sell it to Rich Gackabone or Jerry. Yeah, somebody flies backwards. Or you gotta dig in there and redo it. yellow tape it's got some sticking to it but it doesn't have a lot it seems like it sticks to places you don't want it to stick <laughs> it doesn't in others. I have one that's over 20 years old I do need to do repairs on who's the spammer well the spammer is gone I deleted him and he's banned from the channel so he won't be back that one but there'll be another one He just can't stop the guys. There's too many of them. There's 50,000 of them in a big building somewhere, and they're all doing the same crap, trying to trying to separate you from your money and other things. <laughs> Get all your information, your banking information. Okay, well, fire that heater up. I guess we'll... Uh, Get it warm in here. Are we going to shut the grape down? Yeah. Let me, uh... I need to need a small jar so I can mix some yellow in it. Where's that box of paint that of mine?
light yellow and thinner.
Try to put your lid on my cup. Don't work. Don't work. Yours is bigger than mine. Hopefully that's thin enough. Ain't gonna take much. Got a big spot here. What? What happened? Oh, that piece of paper right there. Well, laid down there so tight that you couldn't tell hardly. This way, probably. So easy. That's four eyes of looking at this thing, and still. You would love to have us paint one of your planes. You wouldn't want to pay the price. I can tell you this. It takes three times as much work to paint an airplane as it does to build it. Yeah, pretty much a fact. jar here there's no lid for this jar do you know where it is for what jar pickle jar should be laying right there no no jar no lid right here use this okay i'll just leave it mixed up and because it, it, I won't use all this. There's a lid there somewhere, but it's a, we'll find it later. <coughs> Not thin enough. We can hit this opening. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's still spilled. It's like liquid gold is thinner. Fifty-five dollars a gallon. Isn't that ridiculous? Yep. As they say, highway robbery. <coughs> Even 
even the super cheap thinners. Well, you may figure everything is double. At least double. Well, we're ready to paint. Oh, we got a super chat. Let's see how much. Thirty dollars from Christopher Everson. Thank you, Christopher. You wish it was more. Well, that's that's fine. That's great. I mean, if everybody would just chip in a little, <laughs> make a big difference. Yeah, won't be able to see the chat here for a while because we're going to close this curtain down. Let's we'll go behind the, the camera. The towels, okay. These towels, they, they really work. I mean, you don't have to worry too much about overspray with a towel. <coughs> so this is Sparky's method of the quick paint job. How to do three colors in one setting. All the tape been pushed down? Yep. fire that heater back there. <coughs> it's cold. 
get in there. Yeah, we'll have to hold it open.
need to call But the only thing you don't really worry about is red. You gotta kinda be careful with red. It's almost ready. Almost ready. So now comes the orange. And this is ready to spray. so very you know such a little amount of paint now if you guys remember when I say just because it got it doesn't mean you got to use it well if you guys remember my Junar XL with the, the dancing girl on it that was orange I mixed a pint one pint of orange so that's half of this and then filled it up and that's what I got left. I mean, there's, it's up to here. There's enough for two more airplanes in this if you want to paint them orange. Doesn't mean, just cause you got it, doesn't mean you gotta use it. This black is 50 years old, and there's enough black in here to last me the rest of my life. There's that much in there. <laughs> Still pretty wet. What? Still pretty wet. Yeah. And I'm getting it all wet on my finger. A gallon of white should paint six airplanes. Six airplanes, yeah. Actually, eight. You should probably get eight, but it never works out like that. Right. Six for sure, maybe seven. That's if you use the uh, method we talk about tinting the, the clear. That helps tremendously. Tremendously. Yeah, 
your paint job will go from 16 ounces down to at least eight. Yeah. <laughs> Cut it in half. But you gotta stick to the diet. You can't deviate from it. it takes more sanding. Most definitely takes more sanding. That guy called me up and says, what are you guys doing to make your airplane so shiny? Sandpaper. Sandpaper. Well, what kind of sand? Well, I said all the way down to 5,000. And then after 5,000, you use at least a couple different kinds of rubbing compound, two different grades. And then a polishing compound. And then the swirl remover. It seems like it just never ends. And it really doesn't. Because you wait a year and you do it all over again from 5,000 through all the rubbing compounds and all that stuff. And then it'll come out even more. Yep. But I think one of the biggest things to the whole deal is using that non tottening clear that helps. from wicks. That helps. That stuff seems to be more shiny. It's not more fuel proof, but... Do not I, dunk your airplane in 15% nitro. <laughs> yeah, you know, 10% is as high as you really want to go. And I, I've got airplanes that are 15 years old now, taken for granted. I'll put an extra coat or two on just the nosy airplane where all the fuel's getting handled and all that stuff. And I keep lay everything it wiped down. I lay it and you, every time I paint clear on it, there's another coat goes on the nose, you know. Um, <clears throat> so the nose has probably got 10 coats on it to three coats on everything else. Yep. Hurry up and wait. Yeah. Like they used to say in the military, hurry up and wait. You see a line, you better get in it. What's it for? It doesn't matter. Just, <laughs> doesn't get, matter. In Just get in it. <laughs> <laughs> What's this line for? I don't know. <laughs> You're about to find out in about 10 minutes. You get up there. <laughs> It'll be something. <laughs> By that way, you might as well go ahead and roll your sleeves up because you never know. <laughs> you might want to jab you with something. I remember a shot line in basic training. We're all standing there and we're still rainbows, you know. We still got our civilian clothes on and everything, and no t shirts on. And walking through that line, and the guys that you'd think would never anything happen, get a shot, those guys are dropping like fly. Plunk, plunk, plunk. The big burly guys and everything, they couldn't stand the sight of blood and they'd have them air, air, air shots, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and a guy flint and it'd rip him open. <laughs> I think the funniest thing, you know, we're talking about the big <coughs> burly guys. We had to jump off a 30 foot tower into the pool. 30, I think maybe it was 25 for swim, you know, basic how to tread water and all that closer. Well, you have to jump off a ship right. way up there. Yeah. And some guys. They pushed out. They wouldn't jump. They had to push them off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, 20, when you get up there, 25 foot looks pretty high, but... It is pretty high. It is pretty high, yeah, but... Heck, you might be 50 foot or 75 foot off a ship. Yeah. And then the guys in firefighting school, they, they whined. I don't want to go in there. Yeah, oh, yeah. And then they set off the... The uh, what you might call them a little room took you take your gas gas mask, mask off. Yeah. a little coil yeah recite your ten general orders <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, that was terrible 
Yeah, but just think, this is real time and yeah. Some of the guys that you don't think would make it, make it. We had guys that actually went to the library and, and never done drugs in their life, but went to the library and looked up information on drugs so they could get out on drug discharge. I said, why are you doing that for? That's yeah, not really. I said, that'll just ruin you for the rest of your life. You'll have a black mark on your record forever. <clears throat> One poor sap, he, got, he came in there he was going to marry this girl. He's going into basic training. I said, I got to get married, you know, before I go to basic training. Never know what might happen. Now, this girl was like 15 years older than him, already had five kids, you know, and here's a kid 17 years old. And he's in love, man. <laughs> she must have poured that good one on him. <laughs> he's in love. Oh, yeah, lust. <laughs> oh, the waiting between coats is ridiculous. Yeah. Nature of the beast. If it was summertime, we could roll right through it. Within five minutes. But I did put it on pretty wet because it's kind of light. Yeah, uh, that yellow is pretty see-through. Orange on yeah. dust on. I know you don't want to, but you need to run that heater. It's cold in here. I'll open that up a little bit. Except this is about 90 years on this side. Yeah, I know.
Yeah, but in 10 minutes, at least. Yeah, it'll be back down to 50 degrees. If you guys don't have one of these, you need one. It's a dual action airbrush. Push down for air and back for paint. A lot of control.
This is an Iwata Eclipse. These are top of the line. I got two of these. I got a Grex gun. I'm not real impressed with it. I wish I wouldn't have bought it now. It doesn't do what I wanted it to do. But if you were going to buy just one airbrush, I would recommend this one. Iwata Eclipse. They're pricey. Two hundred bucks. One ninety, I think. Now I, I also have the Iwata top loaders, the, uh, the gravity feed. Don't get those. Get the get that one there, the Eclipse, the suction. It puts out the most paint for what we do. Now for artwork, if you're going to do some intricate artwork, you need the top loaders. Pretty much repaired that. Jim won't be able to ding me for that little thing. <laughs> we love you, Jim. <laughs> yeah, not everybody gets razzed on a regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a special person. Get, get the rad job done. It had, what I had there was just a little bit of what, you know, Dean Martin said that a 20 pointer will drive you crazy. I believe him. I just get it close enough and appealing to the eye and if you can get 18, 19 points, you're great. You're good. Yeah. Shoot for that 20's gonna cost you about eight ounces or 10 ounces. Yeah. Them guys that are judging at the Nats and they're giving out 20 points, it, it ain't happening. 20 points is perfect. And I have not seen a perfect airplane yet, ever. There's always, hey, what are you going to do about that? <laughs> well, you know, they're, they're getting extra points for spray shine, and that, that's, I mean, you put that stuff on, yeah, that makes the airplane look beautiful. But, you look through it. <laughs> I can't believe this is still not dry. I mean, it's pretty close. I, I won't, I won't uh, do that heavy a coat on the orange because, you know, the yellow is light, very translucent. I think when I did that red, white, and blue stripes on the nose, would that take an hour? Pretty yeah, about that. It was warmer though. It was about. 60 degrees out of my mic when you did that. Makes a difference. That outside air temperature, my God. In here, my feet, yesterday, at the end of the day, my feet were frozen. They felt like ice cubes. This concrete holds that cold. Yeah. I must have really held the gun down right there in the center. It's only in a few spots that it's... Well, that uh, yellow is so see-through that you probably put on more than you need to. Yeah, I only wanted to do it in one coat though. I didn't want to... I want to do a windy coat. <laughs> Dry on the bottom where I first painted, so it's just the top we're waiting on now. I guess I could start taping the bottom. 
Okay, so now how I go about this. Did you get your leaves up, John? Jim asks. Yes, I did. Blew them over the neighbor's yard. <laughs> yeah. Now I got a leaf uh, thing you stick behind the riding lawnmower and it wasn't working right, so I took it apart and fixed it and put it back together again and it started working good. But my old leaves were down. So now we're waiting for the honeysuckle to drop its last little bit. That's just in one side in the backyard, so we're pretty good to go. I can see a spot here that it's going to need some yellow touch-up, but I'm going to just keep going on the tip where that bugger was. Yeah. I'm going to have to repair that. Well, that's what we thought. But, um, it's better to just have to repair a couple little teeny spots. And Too, but. And I remember all the times that I got run off the road and everything else. And both we, tips, yeah. both tips have that same spot in them. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know as well as I do. If you're going to get it full, it's going to be on the tip or a trailing edge, where the surface is sort of thin, and you did not to get the paint on good. That's all right. You can't do a paint job and not have touch-ups that, that take you two weeks to fix. And this is going to be, bring the scissors. I need you to cut me an angle sooner than that center strike there. Yeah, go around the front. I'm just trying to get it on the blue line right on the tip. Just don't pull hard because you don't have a lot of You don't like doing shit this way, do you? I know not. I would have just put this piece down, not double taped it. We'll do that on the orange. No. I don't put it on there at all, right? Eh? Nope. Okay. I need uh, I need you to cut that angle in this one. Okay, there's <laughs> there's the yellow down. Now when we, when we do the red, we'll put that piece of paper from this line back and cover all that. Did you get the trailing edge that cuts down? Yeah. 
And whatever blows off in the front, black will cover that, no problem. Yeah. The other side. Yeah, oops, check it. Double check. I don't want to make any mistakes. Maybe be okay because that's the orange is showing so we'll see how the orange covers it okay <clears throat> run the heater and let's let the, the thing heat it up in here and then let that down i might have to turn the air compressor on okay we have plenty still do you yeah let's see what we got okay.
hit the grind and hit it with the black, we'll be out of here in an hour. J555. Cadillac Red. Cadillac Red. That's a good step. Many, many coolest. You got the Cadillac. He be the coolest. So we're going to mix up uh, about about an ounce and a half, I'd say, of red. And it won't use all that, but I, I mix it up in this little jar so I can use it the next time, so it's half full. But I think, what are these, four ounces, these little jars? Probably. So mix two ounces of material, makes four. I started getting all these ads on my phone about houses for sale. Yeah. Man, they're talking about a lot of houses for sale in Texas and Colorado and Washington and Oregon and... Big places, you know, 50, 100 acres, you know, and big giant houses. Be great if it had the money. Problem is, you can't... <laughs> You gotta put a fence up around it with armed guards. I've been daydreaming about my perfect flying site that I make would make, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> but I think you're right. I think an outdoor outdoor four circle pavilion like Joan Allgrass. 
Because that's every bit as good as pavement. Oh, yeah. But then you'd have to hire somebody to maintain it. Get the equipment. You need the right grass cutting equipment and stuff, just like what they use on golf courses. Yeah. It's only a dream. Never, never going to happen. There is a guy that put in a circle and stuff down south, but it's mostly for racing and speed. They yeah. sprayed that tennis court stuff down on it. Yeah, it's I see. It's paved. That's a... Uh, it's almost like a rubber texture. Wallach. Surface on a really beautiful place. The guy used to fly with Billy. They, they built uh, them Avengers or whatever they... Yeah, I think they only got two circles though. I can't remember. Been a while. How do you get these cups clean? I put red on it. <laughs> and uh, it's your cup, so you know about it. Which cup? These little dipper cups. Uh, you got to wipe them out first. Which I did. And then I just keep cleaning them. <laughs> That's the only one I worry about getting real clean because it is the dipper cup. <laughs> pretty wet. Still pretty wet. See, it's 14 degrees in here again. <laughs> Don't know what to tell you. <laughs> cleaning them things it just takes paper towels and elbow grease. You got another roll of paper towels almost out here. Three dollars a roll now. They were fifty cents when I first got these things a roll. Does it need another cleaning? Got red on it. Does might have to use it in white or clear or something. dollars a gallon you kind of hate to spill any. I'm gonna waste a drop of it. I'm gonna turn this air compressor on. Okay. Because you're down to almost 50 pounds.
paint your bread, go to lunch, come to the By the time we're done with lunch, paint the wall yet. SVG, Scalable Vector Graphic. There's like 40 overlays over the top of it. So when you pull it in, you got to break it apart and clean it up. And, and it just takes time. It takes a ton of time. That's what I did find, with the... Or you got to find another graphic that doesn't have all that overlays on it. Yeah, which is real hard to do because it's... That's how it's done for the web. 
So it's not a matter of just plug and play. So if you bring it in in your trace image and you pull it into your program, there'll be 50 layers of nonsense on there. That's just the way the computer presents it. So, you know, I might have to go in and delete. I have to delete. I can only have one layer when I get done. It can only be one layer. So the plotter line will cut in one path. Otherwise, it goes and it'll cut right through, the, right down to the bed. It'll cut every edge five times. Yeah. Figured that out when we did the your Sunoco stuff, didn't we? Mm. Or did I know about it before? I can't remember when I learned that. Yeah, I think it was on the Sunoco airplane. We were sitting there, and I know we were both sitting there because that your cutter started grinding and making all this nasty noises. And... See, we were grinding away, that's for sure. Here you can get 37 acres in Virginia, has a pond and multiple outbuildings, $325,000. Oh, let me come out of my back pocket with that. And Virginia's probably, such a lovely place to live. Probably built in 1847 or something. First thing you'll have to do is put another foundation under the house. Still not dry. Hurry up and wait. That's all you can do. RVs today? Yeah, here's the plan. We're going to wait for this, that I can back mask this. I'll shoot the red, then we're going to go to lunch, come back after lunch, back mask everything, and shoot the black, and then we're done. So I should be out of here by 3 o'clock. Okay. Always takes longer than what you think it does. Well, it's just waiting crap. If you shot that on with an airbrush, it probably dried faster, but wouldn't have been on this heavy. It wouldn't have been, it'd be streaked. Yeah. Of course, I don't know. I airbrushed this tail and it's still a little tacky. At least I got it fixed. It doesn't look bad at all. It looks like nothing. I think that's what's going to have to happen with these tips. I'm going to have to sand them back, prime them, or whatever, and airbrush them. They shouldn't be too bad since they're little spots. The white in between is what's yeah. going to be a bitch. Hopefully, you won't have any more pull-ups. If I use the heat gun, it lessens the chance of it. Lessens the chance, but does not eliminate it. <laughs> yeah. It's actually getting pretty dry. A couple of spots where I laid on the, the gun here. Bottom's pretty dry. I'm gonna start taping it off on the bottom, I guess. Nope, not there. Uh, 
How many watchers we got? We got 17 guys that are up for punishment. How long have we been on? Two and a half hours, $30 super chat. Really appreciate the super chat, Chris. It really goes a long ways. Are you watching it? No. Okay. What happened to the tape there, Ed? Deleting emails. This is where you see how good a tape job you did. This color right here coming up. Should be all right. Ain't dry enough yet. One. Ain't dry enough yet on the top. Anyway, let's see about the bottom here. So a little tacky there. A wild turkey. What are you doing? Came a pet wild turkey. Oh. <laughs> he eats that sandwich right out of his hand. And <laughs> We're into Arby's. What do you want? You want me to pick something? Grilled cheese? Grilled ham and cheese? Whatever. If you want to do it. I mean, do Arby's. It do not matter. I've got to check my blood. Well, you tell me what you guys want. I got a knife. We can see if it's red. <laughs> yeah, well, they checked it yesterday at lunch, and I got after we ate and everything, and three hours later, and my blood sugar is all out through the roof. Well, you know that happens. Yeah, well, I'll right. in here and check. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Food's going to 
jacket up, no matter whether it's Arby's or being here. I'm gonna, I'm starving, so whatever you guys want to do. That's funny, Jackie. Well, if you're starving, I don't know. He's checking his blood. I got a knife. I could stab him and see if it's red. I'm sure it is. <laughs> okay. Let's get this bottom one taped off. Close enough. Pull up any paint. Try again. Got to be right down the center. Not dry in the center there though. You gotta wait for that. And when you're taping this, you don't want to stick it down on the other tape. You want to stick it to the tape that's already on there, and that's it. You don't want to. I mean, I probably could get away with it. Yeah, I probably could get away with it, no problem. Anyway, get it ready to go. And people say that you can't do that. I've been doing this for years like this. You watch custom motorcycle painters or car painters, they do the same shit. Probably a thousand YouTube videos showing it. You just gotta be extra careful here. You know, we're not flooding paint on, we're just kind of dusting it on, so. During the summertime, when we do this, or when I do this, it's like five minutes. I'm ready to go for the next color. Thank you. 
Yes, from this hard. Okay, well now we're gonna go to Arby's after I paint this. Because I got it taped. What you do? We're ready. I'm just about ready to paint the red. Then after lunch we'll paint the black. Inspect it close, make sure I got all the orange covered up. Don't push it down into the orange, just, just on the tape side. You might want to hit that spot with a little piece of tape so you don't have to press on it. cold in here. Yeah, yeah. Non-insulated garage door and air breathing around it. Okay. We do have some coupons. Whatever. I don't care. Uh oh. Somebody wants something.
least it's the inboard side. Where's the knife? Over there. You see it? Ding! Like a spit dropple or something. Till after the clear to deal with it. <laughs> if I left it on there, when I sanded it, it would leave a white spot. Probably. I'm gonna hit that again. It's uh, floppy. I use less than an ounce of paint to do this. It's good. Yeah. I bet you won't be able to weigh what this paint weighs. You know what I did today. I'm gonna wait till the clear starts going on it. Get this done, I can hang it on the wall, look at it, and see what I want to do next. <laughs> both covered equal or does this one now look like it's darker? It's equal now. Yeah, it's equal now. <laughs> Let's go get something to eat. Clean it when I get back. It's black next, so it doesn't matter. Hey guys, we're gonna end for lunch. We'll be back in half hour 45 minutes we'll see you then thanks for watching fairwinds tight lines see ya come on <laughs>